Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Kem Afrik and my name is Kem Yomorube. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to acquire new customers, new clients. So we talk of pricing, pricing, that's pricing well and placing the right price on your product. The truth is every time you do that, some of your customers drop, sometimes due to location, some of them move to other locations. I mean, over the years, those people you initially started with are not going to be always there patronizing you for one reason or the other they might have moved on so that's the reason why you need to keep constantly acquiring new customers in your business and sometimes you are just starting up and you need new customers <laughs> Whether you are a starter or you are midway into your business you are going to find this video very helpful just keep watching In acquiring new customers, every other thing I'm just going to tell you will be under advertising. There's a reason why even big companies keep advertising your product. Let's mention the likes of Omo, Globacom, you know, any big company, you know, they keep advertising, constantly advertising, and we small businesses. Okay, the thing is, okay, it's just advertisements and just keep quiet and people you have already told them we, we tend to overlook the benefit of constant advertisement so in acquiring new customers the most important thing is to keep advertising every other thing i'll be mentioning in this video will just fall under advertising when it comes to acquiring new customers yes retaining those customers will be a little bit different but when it comes to acquiring new customers you just have to advertise you don't have an option there is no two way there's no other way around this. So if you are someone who thinks, I don't like advertising, I want my work to do the job. Yes, your work can do the job a little bit, but girl, you have to wake up and just start advertising vigorously and constantly, okay? Consistent advertisement is necessary for your business to grow and for you to acquire, keep acquiring new clients new customers as the case may be so how can you advertise your product god there are so many routes you can take to advertise the product big companies usually have a dedicated department for advertising and marketing that's just to tell you how important this is for instance you see an advert from etel i've been seeing etel advertisement like constantly on tv but you don't need to go on tv just yet as a small business owner because it can be quite pricey so what other ways can you advertise your business without breaking the bank i did a complete video on the benefits of digital marketing you can use digital marketing to advertise your business i'll put up a link to that video so i'm not going to go deeply into that any longer because when it comes to digital marketing you have paid advertisement you have making use of your social media you can pay influencers this you can all do using techie stuff and just, they're just simple techie stuff that I do by myself so you can do it by yourself. Go and watch that video. I'll also drop a link in the description box below. Another way you can acquire new clients through advertising your product is what I love so much and Coach Lao Yukatis termed it dress evangelism. That term just seems perfect. It seems so sweet to call. Because yes, you are evangelizing through just the way your life should preach to other people. That's the way your dress, what you wear can preach. So whether you like it or not, you're your brand's first model. If you have working customers, they will first size you up by what you wear. If you go for a party, people want to see what you wear. Is she creative enough? Is he or she creative enough to make amazing pieces for him or herself before we even talk of making an outfit for me. So the places you go and what you wear while going there can help you advertise your business. Like it's very common to wear something nice and somebody will like, wow, I love your dress. And that's just an opportunity for you to say, oh, thank you, I made it myself. And there is nothing as sweet and glorious as getting that kind of compliment. That means you are doing something right, you're getting something right. And definitely people can see and appreciate that. And before you know it, those people will come working to you asking for such pieces whether it's a ready to wear piece or even a bespoke piece you're going to get people requesting for that everybody likes to look good so imagine consistently wearing smashing outfits to church some people are going to notice that 
<laughs> this lady or this guy always dressed in a very tush way. They might even walk up to you and ask you where your tailor is. Can you direct me to your tailor so that she can make something for me? And you will proudly say, I made it myself. Like, that's a goal. That's a goal, really. <laughs> I'll tie this previous point to the next point, which is creating outstanding products. When you create an outstanding product and you wear it, your customers will come. And creating an outstanding product, not just for yourself now, when you create outstanding product for your current customers. Wow, just the way you can evangelize your outfits, your customers can help you do that. And this is even very easy, right? Because you have one or two or multiple numbers of clients already. That's like multiple channels of advertisements. And each of them can wear that outstanding outfit to locations. And if they are very outstanding, people will ask them where they made it from. So they will refer you without you even asking for it. They will be happy and then you get that referral. So every piece you make is an opportunity. Put your best into it. Sometimes, yeah, even though we want to make profit, it's still good to kind of go out of your way and make that piece really outstanding. Let there be something special about it. Something that will make people want to know who made it. You understand what I mean? So especially if you if you are at a stage in your business where you need new customers, okay? And when you have your current clients coming in, if you're into bespoke tailoring and they're giving you some styles to make, you can suggest touches, things, add up, appliques, just things to make it look outstanding and let them know how great it will be to give it this twist and turn and at the end of the day you make this beautiful piece that everybody will appreciate that will help you acquire new customers okay let's move on to the next point which is displaying your goods okay so for those of you or those of us that have work in stores the kind of outfit you display outside can attract passers by people can stop by because they see you constantly displaying those you know luxury outfits they can't just resist it. The next time they need somebody to make an outfit, they're coming for you. These days, you don't just need your working store. A part of digital marketing is displaying your products constantly on pages like on social media, like Instagram, on Facebook, telling your friend, WhatsApp status. We have WhatsApp marketing these days. So your status, WhatsApp status can be a means for you to keep dropping your work. So not it's even easier it's easier right all you need is your phone and not everybody will be passing through your door and you always want to kind of give your business up an opportunity to gain visibility outside your immediate environment making use of these channels these channels of opportunities the opportunities to me because seriously these things were not there some years back and i sincerely wonder how businesses thrive in those days i know there must have been a way you know we just get used to things but these days digital marketing is a thing so display your products both outside of your working store and also on your pages can be a hit and constantly doing that all of this you need to do consistently don't just do it one day and you relax feeling after all i already showed them they know already no even the products you showed in the past can be brought up again and displayed for the same audience there's something this consistent exposure to your work does to your audience okay they don't just want to see it once and jump at it but when you constantly put it in their face you're in their face all the time one day they are going to ask you about it so one day they are going to just be your clients and apart from that other opportunities can come up from people seeing your work both online and your physical store if you have one and aside displaying your products you can create banners and display as well still outside your physical store and on your social media pages don't try to make your banner yourself okay give a professional graphics designer there's a way i'll see your banner to look a cake like you went on canva you don't know about graphics designing and you kind of I appreciate DIYs. You, you know I do a lot of DIYs, but there are just some things that you need professional touch on. So don't take chances on those kind of things. Like, there's a place for snapping with your phone. There's a place for getting a professional photographer, a good professional photographer. So this is their level and some people can see from the outside whether you are just trying to feel among or you, are, you actually know what you're doing. But another point which I would like to mention, hmm, for small business owners, we tend to make the mistake of burying our head in the job. Yes, it's good to sew. Oh my day, it's good to sew and some of us especially enjoy being on the sewing machine, I know. But when you're trying to build 
your business beyond the local level like you're thinking of going global raising the bar higher you are you don't want to remain at the same point all the time i mean there is a place for upgrade okay so while doing this you need to let go of those things that tie you down like constantly sewing you cannot do it all so delegating those duties you can delegate so that you can be out there more often go out and about advertise yourself advertise your brand when there is an event a business event or even religious event make sure you go looking like the billion dollar designer that you are and those are just opportunities for you to advertise yourself don't be tied down i realize on days i'm busy i'm busy sewing okay like i don't give myself that room to advertise to think creatively to see people to arrange business deals to think creatively <laughs> there's something about my business which i've realized those times that i'm not sewing so much i tend to sit down strategize contact people that can help my business create some deals create some packages think of a cause and those things end up more profitable than when i sit down and so so you just need to look at what works okay everybody's not like me so look at what works in your business and how you can maximize that potential but i would strongly advise that you are not constantly on the sewing machine just sewing just sewing. when you do that you tend to ignore this other business part of the deal when you're just starting up and you are just a one-man business maybe you're working from home okay it's okay but at some point you want to level up okay you want to upgrade your business so look into having a tailor which some people call a joiner okay those people you draft for them you cut out the fabric they just sew for you they join the pieces together that's what they basically do and with time you can look into getting another designer you can look into getting a fashion teacher if you have a fashion school like myself so don't get tied up just sewing i hope that sticks Mm -hmm. So many of us tend to focus on the advertisement online, social media pages, and then we don't walk up to people and really tell them what we are up to. That's your physical store. Have you tried walking around that vicinity and maybe giving people your banners, your posters, telling them what you do? This can work a great deal, especially if you are just starting up. So introduce yourself. I'm a fashion designer, I make so 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 and so outfits, this is where I am, you can have this banner, you can have my card, contact me, I'm open for home service, we do delivery, just tell them all that you can do through your word of mouth. And aside doing this on your own by yourself, you can also ask your friends and family to do the same thing for you. You can share your, your banner to other people, your friends, families that can help you advertise to their own audiences online and in their physical environment that can help you gain a lot of new customers as well and also referrals from people you have made outfit for like your clients come in for fitting they love the dress don't forget to mention please let people know i made this for you please kindly tell those that ask that i made this for you you can even give them your banners or your business card to share there's a way to go around this thing some will refuse but a large percentage will accept that and we probably do that for you so don't be afraid to ask for referrals from your clients your current client that way you keep building new customers because these people will flow hmm? they will flow so but what you want to do is to retain as many people as you can so with this i'll be moving on to how you can retain your customers how you can retain your current customers and keep them with you for as long as possible one you have to ensure that your product is good nothing can replace this no customer will come back to you if your product is wacky they paid you the first time and you made those what i ordered versus what i made kind of outfits mm, they are not coming back to you definitely nobody likes to take a chance on what they wear you know they've given you the first chance there's no second chance so make sure that you're putting in your best if you're not that good yet you can't make certain outfits simply excuse yourself there's nothing wrong with telling a client that i can't make this design this is not my specialty okay this is what i specialize in if you can't make it simply tell your client that you can't make it respectfully and if it's something you think you need to learn upgrade your skill 
get better at your craft and with this you can increase the range of the type of outfit you can make I know many clients when it comes to baseball tailoring that just feel a fashion designer should know how to do everything but don't let them box you into that mentality hmm? give yourself sense if they think you are supposed to make everything you are not good hmm? let them do i don't make this kind of work. i cannot make this type of admitting there's nothing wrong with admitting and accepting your shortcomings and also working on them to get better there are some type of outfits that is not it's not your interest let them know you don't make it it's not that you don't want to learn it but it's not just your specialty to be a kind of distraction for you at that point in your life let them know you don't make it without mindset word at all don't ruin people's clothes basically that's what i mean but do your best on every outfit so those clients you can retain them as returning clients there's nothing as beautiful as having a large volume of clients constantly patronizing you those people can even get addicted to you they get addicted to the type of job i know good materials can cost more okay it might mean charging your clients a little bit more but look into the quality of materials you're using for your client and also the neatness inside it's not just about the outside part of the dress that's what will make you different from every other person if i'm reminding you of something new in this video or you're getting more knowledge from this video please smash the like button give us a like so let's make other people discover this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe invite your friends to the family another way you can retain your client aside giving them good perfectly fitted outfit is through your customer experience okay so for a lot of us we just yeah take some of us are even angry with our clients but that's why in the first place you have to charge well or charge your words because you will be angry you'll be angry with your clients when your client comes for fitting you're gonna vex the thing gonna vex you because you feel you didn't get paid enough okay but let your price com be commensurate with the service you're providing and also give your clients good customer experience okay from when they come offer them a seat be patient with them the consultation period i just remember something when you are charging your client remember the time you are sitting down to choose styles some clients can be so difficult they can be be with you for one two three hours just trying to select a style those type of clients you need the patience of the lord but make sure you are getting value for that time if you waste my time too much when it's time for me to call a price for you i'll give you a good price sometimes it's even better to even state price than sitting down to start choosing uh, styles for three hours some people can be that difficult okay that was a digression let's get back to what we are saying retaining customers so good customer experience from when they come offer them a seat be patient with them give them suggestions some of us knows the things that will fit our client better than they know okay so you, you give them suggestions you can't force anything on anybody but at the same time just somewhere in between <laughs> somewhere in between because if you give suggestion and it ends up not coming nicely or they don't like it because there's a difference between what's nice and what they like people are different so learn where to know where to strike a balance you know give them suggestion don't impose styles on them give them suggestions if they accept the suggestion you give it your best uh, if you have a walk-in store the presentation the look of your reception or wherever you are taking your clients on it also matters so there are some showrooms you enter and when they bill you 100 150k you won't be able to price because first you're looking at the ambience of the environment and You'll be ashamed to price it's just better you work out whether you have a working store you don't have a working store wherever you are receiving your clients should be presentable let there be enough uh, ventilation don't let your client be sweating and feeling heat and some of us have rough sewing rooms even if you don't have a showroom and you are receiving your client in your sewing room make sure it's always neat and presentable i saw a, a picture a guy posted on a group a sewing group of facebook we had god the entire place could have been better that's just what i'm saying it was a small room but even a small room can look good it can be neat you place fabric here hang this one there throw towel here threads everywhere if your clients walk in first you can't even charge them better money <laughs> you can't charge a good bill with that kind of environment because and yes your clients will be there just finding themselves to even talk to sit down and 
tell you what they want they just want to leave the environment so give your clients a good customer experience whatever space you're using make sure it looks presentable make sure it reflects what you want for your brand make sure it reflects you if it's not beautiful let it be neat and better still let it be neat and beautiful let it be pleasant to the eye you, you can paint wherever you're using with white color i love white color so much because Already, it, it, it just looks good, it just looks classy without so much going on. Another point I'll be raising when it comes to retaining your client is your branding and packaging. So the way you present your business to your client matters a whole lot. Some of us have clients that come pick up their outfit and we just put it inside one nylon. <laughs> I just remember something funny. I had a tailor a while ago that told me that in her madame's place where she learned after sewing the outfit they just put it on the stool and sit down on it while working on other people's clothes so that's the way they press or iron the outfit no ah. so your outfit has to be neat once you're true give it a good press fold it properly put it in a nylon or a packaging paper that has your paper as much as you can just let your client have that you know, feel of luxury okay if you, if you think you are not there okay fake it till you make it eh let them have a feel of luxury and i'm not saying go and break the bank or get paper bags expensive ones no just get something with your name printed printed on it work with your brand color always if you have a working store i just learned the term brick and mortar am i old school or am i I don't know so if you have a brick and mortar just make sure your coloring the decor pieces you use reflect your brand have a brand color and let it also reflect in your packaging package well if you're sending to other part of the country or even outside the country it's even more appropriate to make sure that your packaging looks nice it should look pleasing okay it's part of your customer experience. You cannot just drop one nylon bag somewhere. <laughs> okay. This point, the last point I'll be mentioning, it's something quite emotional. Your clients love it when they have the feel that you actually care about them, not just their money. So don't be all about money, money, money. Don't show a little bit of care. First, don't pretend though if you don't care. Hmm? But I'm saying, Care genuinely, just look at them as another human being, okay? Somebody you want to help because, in the first place, your business is helping to solve a problem, so you are already helping in a way. Now, you're going to go a step further by not just rendering your service and collecting money for it, you go a step further and give them something without requesting for money. So, when it's Christmas, wait, or Valentine, or one occasion or the other, you can give them a, a, a tip, you can give them discount, you can give them um, gifts, free gifts. You can even use it to advertise and get more sales. Imagine advertising, okay, make two outfits, I'll make one for free for you. Let it not be about the profit you're making all the time. Ensure you care genuinely and you show them that you care genuinely. Aside giving them gifts every now and then, offering discounts, you should also send a message, take their birthday date. So call them during their birthday. You can have a woman crush when it's the post on your media, social media pages or man crush Monday, whatever and celebrate some of your clients on these days so everybody likes to feel loved everybody likes to be cared beyond having their money <laughs> you have their heart they will love you they will love to patronize you they will refer you so don't ignore those important season in the lives of your clients that's why you need to keep a data of your client have their phone numbers in these days of whatsapp marketing some of your clients have their numbers and you don't even have their own numbers how would they see your status so have their phone numbers have a database for your client and reach out to them every now and then if you notice some of your clients haven't patronized you for a while reach out to them call them and don't just call them yeah we never see you you're not going my shop you're not going so close you get who they so close for you Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't do that just call them and say I just called to check up on you because I haven't heard from you in a while 
and they'll go oh well, that's the reason why trust me the next time they think of making any fabulous piece they will come to you because you remembered them and you didn't just even pitch your product to them or your service to them you cared you showed that you cared everybody likes to feel loved so remember that when dealing with your client so another point i'll be raising which hopefully is the last point is follow up follow up your client follow up with your contact follow up the people that patronized you before okay so it's kind of related to generally caring for your client whether you care or not you can do follow up but please care about them and follow up this does not just even apply to your sewing if you have online classes follow up works a lot because many of us are reluctant to spend money from advertising some of my courses i've seen that uh, the first time doesn't do it when you advertise the first time that, that's like priming stage okay so don't stop at that with all of the advertisement um, steps i've given you don't stop at first exposure okay constantly do a follow-up check up on your clients okay so with all this point of mind i hope i've been able to convince you and not confuse you beyond every reasonable doubt that it is necessary to keep acquiring new customers and retaining them thank you i know i've said a lot in this video and some of the things i said you probably know already but when it comes to execution <laughs> <laughs> I personally don't think I do enough of advertisements and all that I stated in this video That's why videos like this are very helpful even to me They kind of remind me of the things I need to do So probably you know some of these things already or you're hearing it for the first time What will make a difference is what you do after watching this video Don't just add it to your bank of knowledge No, go out there and start executing and you'll see this thing turning your business around like you start getting some cool new cash okay new cash fresh ones not still ones <laughs> any kind of cash you want basically you start uh, getting a new inflow of clients and your business starts expanding which is my goal basically that's the reason i'm making this video so in all you're doing please execute okay don't just get this knowledge execute it kemi execute this as a note to self make sure you smash the like button and join the farm if you are not yet here just subscribe and click on the notification bell when you do that share this video to your friends families your colleagues and let the family grow i feel like we are not growing as fast as i would have loved this channel to do but you guys can change that for me so please do that thank you for watching hopefully you see more of me in the next video there will be some cards on the display soon where you can click 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 and watch my previous videos or you can simply go straight to the channel thank you for watching i had fun filming this and i hope you enjoy us drop a comment in the comment section if you have other suggestions so bye and see you in my next video